in last video we have derived conditions for maxima and minima in case of reflected light in thin film in this video i am going to discuss about mention mention the condition for maxima and minima in case of transmitted light it is without derivation in last video we derived the condition for reflected light but in transmitted light we, we need to write condition directly that is here what i'm going to i'm going to consider a thin film and it is having thickness t and refractive index mu and this thin film is surrounded by air and its refractive index is equals to 1 okay now let us suppose a light ray yes a incident on thin film and here let us denote its ends by pq r yes okay now let us suppose a light ray is a incident on pq here i am going to draw a normal here some part of the light gets reflected and some part of it gets transmitted here i am not going to draw reflected rays because here we are going to write condition for transmitted light that's why i am going to draw only transmitted light rays here this transmitted ray i am going to denote it by ab ab is the transmitted ray here i am going to draw a normal when a ray ab incident on rs here some part of it gets reflected and some part of it gets transmitted and i am going to represent transmitted ray by b r and reflected ray by bc here i am going to draw a normal and here some part of light that is bc gets transmitted and some part of it gets reflected here i am going to draw only reflected light okay and here again i am going to draw a normal and i am going to represent this reflected ray by cd and again this ray cd gets reflected and some part of it gets transmitted and i am going to represent this transmitted ray by dq dq is the transmitted rays here there are two transmitted rays one is br another one is dq and here i am going to draw a normal and i am going to denote it by h okay here in last class we have already derived optical path difference that is optical path difference is given by optical path difference in case of reflected ray and for transmitted ray also it is same that's why i'm going to write optical path difference directly that is del is equals to 2 mu t cos r this is the optical path difference and in reflected light we have written minus lambda by 2 because here reflected ray 
is having a path difference of lambda by 2 but here transmitted rays they do not have any phase change or path difference that's why we are only going to write delta is equal to 2 mu t cos r and I am going to denote this equation by 1 okay from Young's double slit experiment we know that condition for maxima and minima okay now let us write first one first condition that is condition for condition for maxima here bright fringe bright fringe occurs when the optical path difference is delta is equal to m lambda this is the optical path difference for bright fringe and we already derived the optical path difference expression now I am going to substitute this value here then we are going to get when we substitute optical path difference from equation 1 then we are going to get 2 mu t cos r is equals to m lambda and let us denote this equation by 2 where m is equals to 0 1 2 3 so on this is the m value okay it is the condition this is the condition for bright fringe okay now let us see condition for second one condition for minima condition for minima here dark fringes occurs when optical path difference is delta is equal to 2m plus 1 into lambda by 2 here I am going to substitute optical path difference from equation 1 then after substituting 2 mu t cos r value which is equals to 2m plus 1 into lambda by 2 and let us denote this equation by 3 and where m is equals to 0 1 2 3 so on this is the condition for dark fringe or condition for minima here we have already derived optical path difference equation in the case of reflected light and for reflected light and for transmitted light optical path difference value is same that's why we are directly taking optical path difference value and here from Young's double slit experiment we have path difference value for bright fringe delta is equals to m lambda and for dark fringe delta is equals to 2m plus 1 lambda by 2 and here we are going to substitute simply the optical path difference value in this equation we are going to get condition for maxima and condition for minima and this is all about condition for maxima and minima in the case of transmitted light.